absolutely. Desmond has done a really good job. I remember having that conversation about Desmond, you know, going off of that his freshman year and uh, the making the decision to, uh, you know, hold him back a little bit. And he did some, some good things in those three games that he was able to participate in. And, uh, you know, the, the end goal for me is to help these guys excel to whatever level they can, right? Um, and Desmond's one of those guys that, you know, when we, we brought him in, he was, he was uh, predominantly a basketball player in high school. He played football, obviously, but I think he, he would be the first one to tell you that he was more comfortable in a, on a basketball court more than he was on a football field uh, to start his, his college career. So I knew that going in. We knew that as a staff as we, when we uh, decided to uh, recruit him and sign him to a scholarship here. And he, he's done that. He's done all the necessary steps to develop. Now, you know, with that being said, there were some things that happened uh, past, past season with the COVID and all the, the contact tracing and all of those things that every school and every, um, every staff, every football team had to deal with last season. And he was, he was a victim of it. He was a victim of it and it severely hurt his development and it's to no fault of his own. I mean, right. I mean, he's just, you know, trying to be a good teammate. And next thing you know, he has a roommate or somebody he's working out with test positive and then everybody's knocked out. Right. So he's, he was in quarantine. I want to say he was in quarantine at least three different times, just in the summer. So that put him behind the eight ball right off the bat. And he's, like I said, he's one of those guys that he needs every rep, every opportunity to continue his development. So that, that set him back a little bit. And then, you know, got into the season. He had a, a minor injury that kept him out uh, during, I think it was uh, about the second week of training camp. So that set him back even further. So, you know, as frustrated as I was, I can only imagine how frustrating it was for him to have those setbacks. But now here we go, 2021, it's a brand new year, a fresh start for everybody. And he, he's done a great job of taking advantage of the opportunities. You know, he's been a uh, part of every workout he can. You know, we don't have, um, you know, all of the issues that we had last summer with, with the contact tracing and things like that. So we're fortunate that way. Um, and he's taking advantage of that fact. He's done a great job in the weight room, talking to Ray and Cody and the rest of the strength staff. Uh, every day he's making strides on the football field. So you're right. You're right, Scott. He's a young man that, that we need to continue to develop. He fits the mold physically. You know, his, if you look at his hands, you know, I've, I've been told I have big hands. His hand, I feel like his hands are twice as big as mine. So <laughs> he's got all the tools. You know, he's six, three and a half, six, four, whatever he is. You know, he weighs the white rate and he just needs to continue to develop, you know, some of those intangible small details with route running and understanding the game of football. But he's on the right track. So, you know, the next um, eight opportunities that we have left in spring ball, and then uh, just as importantly into the summer, you know, those guys are working on their own for the most part. And then, you know, training camp, once we get to August, guys willing, that, that, that time frame, that window that we have there is going to be huge, not only for, for us, but specifically for him and his development. See what he can, how far he can come, you know, we're getting ready to play games next fall.